How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to Garage 99. In today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of an upgrade to my wife's Audi. We have got the European spec RSQ5 black honeycomb grill. That looks absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. I think it looks so cool. Uh, we're gonna be upgrading that and uh, that's gonna be it. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of in-depth stuff to do. And I'm gonna try and uh, work, walk you guys along as I complete it in case you need help at home doing something like this. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what screw and clips need to come off. Now everything is a Torx fit, it's like a T27 bit. When you're pulling the, the top off here, you want to do just those. There are two of them that are gonna be on the top. Um, the only thing you're gonna be on clipping is this just underneath where the hood releases and the two fog lights. And on the inside of the fender well, you only need to do the three T-bit screws on both sides. And then on the bottom, you have to remove the cowl and then there's gonna be four screws revealed once you pull that cowl off for the bottom and the whole thing should come off no problem. This actually came off fairly easy. I, I pulled a bunch of bumpers off. I'm gonna unscrew the rest of these screws for the grill and we're gonna kind of relocate things. I'm gonna have to dremel some things out. Gotta make it look right and mock it up and have it fit right. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I must admit, man, 45 minutes later, the Germans definitely kicked my ass with trying to pull that grill off. So as you can see, it's gonna look a lot different. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the RSQ5 badge or not. I hate over badging stuff. Might switch it over, might not, I don't know. Maybe if she likes it, I'll leave it on there, but it looks pretty cool. It's not like they make an RSQ5 in America. You're not really copying anything, especially around here. So when pulling this apart, there's actually a lot of stuff you don't need. Like you pull out the foam, I pulled out this plastic deflector so that way the grill was a little more open because the one side has a deflector, the other side doesn't because this side is where the radiator or oil cooler, whatever it is. Um, you do want to paint this beam across your black because you will see it. So we've been kind of just hitting it with small coats here and there. I've obviously already done the trim and everything around the outside of it, which I've been blocking with something so I don't overspray. Yeah, once you've got this thing all ripped apart, you don't really need this plastic piece, that foam or any of that plastic. The other grill is just gonna slide right in here. It's gonna be very visible. It's gonna have a lot of openness to it. So make sure you have everything nice and clean behind it when you're working on this. I'm gonna mock it up and everything. And then I might use the Dremel and Dremel out those three holes. And probably the parking sensors on the outside too, since we don't have the grill parking sensors. All right, now that we have all of our sensors and everything Dremeled out, which looks beautiful. It looks like everything's just kind of floating there now. Uh, we have to cut off the bottom to match this side because this never had any of this extra garbage on it. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and mock up what needs to be removed here and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything off. All right, it's time to put it on. We've got the crash bar painted black. We've got the wiring for all the sensors all plugged in and routed exactly how we want so everything's clear. I even cleaned up this plastic piece so that way there was absolutely Nothing on the bumper except for possibly this where it plugs in that's going to show through this grill. There's a lot of work. got to be very, very tedious with everything. There's a lot of tabs you have to cut off. You got to cut a lot of the grill apart for it to fit this bumper. If you do get an RSQ5 bumper, it probably bolts right in, but this isn't an RSQ5 bumper. So we're going to go ahead and put it on and see how it looks. I'm already pretty excited to see what this is going to look like. I don't know about an SUV, but I see a 40 ass looking Audi right here. All right guys, I forgot to film an outro for this video. Hope you enjoyed the grill install. I know my wife loves it. But we're gonna do a couple more things to the car. I don't think anything more for this year, but we will be doing some stuff next year. I'd like to get it ready for the June Cars and Coffee at M1 Concourse. They're gonna have a European day, so that'd be pretty cool. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Like, thank you all so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, drop a like. Let me know what you think about future mods for this car, or if you have any questions about current things I have done to it, I'd love to answer. But that's gonna do it. Peace out, keep turning those gears.